Good day, everybody. So today my iPad mini has been delivered. My little beauty. So let's make the quick unboxing. And uh, I want to show you the data transfer process. How I gonna transfer all data, all applications from my previous iPad Pro. Okay. so small but it's good for my purposes for car gps i purchased the cellular version so it's not only wi-fi so i can insert my t-mobile sim card in here so this envelope contains some apple stickers and the construction and as it's as I told my cellular version, so I have a pin to remove SIM card. So we have here also the charger. It's a 20, 20 watts, 20 watt charger, USB-C interface and the cable, USB-C, USB-C, because the new iPads supporting USB-C interface. It's not lightning anymore. And this is really great. I waiting the same in the old iPhones. Okay, so now let's turn it on and let's transfer all data. But first we have to activate it. Okay, okay here's my previous iPad. Okay. Hello, Ni Hao, United States, set up manually. So first I connect with my home Wi-Fi. Give me just one moment, please. Okay, now it's joining. And asking me to take the few minutes to activate my iPad. continue set up the touch ID so here's no face ID touch ID set it, setting up here in the power button I'm just scanning like my finger at different angles done okay control fingerprint so now I'm scanning my fingers on the edge edit and now the fingerprint so now I gonna scan my left finger also I'm scanning in all possible angles Fantastic passcode. Passcode option. Custom numeric passcode. Okay, so and now I choosing the option transfer directly from iPad. This will make me able to transfer all data from my previous iPad to the new one. Okay, let me unlock this one. Okay, so my previous iPad see the new one. Now they are connecting between each other. So I see this picture. 
Okay, now it's asking me to finish on the new iPad. So asking me to enter the passcode from my previous one. That's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, done. Transfer from iPad. Now it's setting up my Apple ID. Also, by the way, guys, I'm suggest suggesting you when you're purchasing the new iPads, also purchase the glass like screen protector. And for me, I purchased the the cheapest, the clear case. So I have a protection on the back of the case, and I will have protection in the front. It's a screen screen protector, and this will make my iPad being protected almost from any situations. Okay, continue. Sorry. Okay, it's loading. For me, by the way, it's a good option. Like for the car GPS, if your car doesn't have uh, like CarPlay or any any other like big screen or it's old one, so this is great option. How you can how you can use your GPS in a great mode. Okay, continue now. It's asking me to add all my bank cards, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Adding all my cards, probably is gonna be asking me the CVV protection code on the back of the card, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, to save the time, I will right now set up uh, all my bank cards and then we'll continue with you guys. So, here we go. So, I just finishing to set up all my uh, bank cards so and now since right now it's not not too many data without pictures and uh, my transferring has been started and uh, so let's wait until it will be completed and then I will have a chance to insert my sim card into my iPad and then it will be ready to use so it right now shows me like 13 minutes but I'm assuming it's gonna take maybe a little bit more so for now let's pause this video and uh, I will continue when the transfer will be complete here we go so transfer has been successfully completed now I'm waiting when my new iPad will be restart and it's been restarted pretty quickly and now as you can see oh I forgot it's not face ID right here so all my application right now installing and now I have an exact clone of my previous iPad so I don't need to set up anything more so now all my settings all applications even even location of this applications has been exactly copied from my previous one iPad so now I can simply insert my sim card and it will be ready to go by the way if you don't have your old device with you so you can simply choose an option to back up um, like from iCloud I mean uh, to, to choose where you're gonna take all your data all your applications pictures so you can just choose the like uh, choose the source like from iCloud and then it will be great okay enable so here's my sim card lot this is my sim card mm -hmm. and now my sim card will be activated and I'm ready to go guys thank you very much for the watching subscribe if you're interested 
and uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments i'm waiting for your likes for the feedbacks if i deserve in this if not it's fine thank you very much have a good time of your day